the Performance Wellness Retreat is an athlete retreat centered around uh, well-being for athletes as well as performance, self-awareness, self-knowledge, and tapping into some of the elements that uh, our athletes have left behind during these COVID times, and more so looking at longevity in terms of joint care, joint health, and overall well-being for athletes into the future. This retreat was aimed at athletes specifically, so it was catered to those athletes that were available and willing to come and share their time with us. But these retreats are available to any human being. Uh, ideally, helping humans, guiding other human beings to be their best on a regular basis, on a daily basis, by being present in the moment. That's the goal of these retreats. They're applicable across the board, uh, but this one specifically was catered towards uh, a series of elite athletes. This was like a special moment for me uh, being here. It's like a, an opportunity for me to actually learn a lot about myself and also have an opportunity to actually take care of my body because uh, as a football player, taking care of uh, your body is probably like the, the most important thing in order to sustain and to play as long as you can in the CFL. Also just learning about conscious movement, uh, how to move knowing what you're trying to get out of it, not just doing a motion for the sake of doing it, like really focusing on the aspects of it, what joint we're focusing on, what muscles we want to feel, and how we want to contract and release from those positions. Let your system, systems, nervous system, interaction of sympathetic and parasympathetic connect here. Own this, and then come on back to center. Keep the legs straight, rotate back. Allow yourself to feel where that's coming from and how that's happening. I am looking for something beyond what the textbooks provide. And I think based on that and the conversations that we've had over the past three years, um, he invited me to this as a means to um, broaden my horizons as an athletic therapist or a soon to be athletic therapist and to be able to have an impact as I move forward in my career in how I practice and how I teach and educate and rehabilitate people that I will come in, in connection with. The one takeaway that I want any, any human being that I work with is certainly intentful awareness. So just being aware and being present in the moment. Uh, and if we can do that a little bit more consistently, ultimately at the end of the day, we're a better athlete and we're a better human being. So that's the underlying tone to all that we do um, in these retreats as well as uh, philosophically with First Star Therapy. We did a lot of meditation. We did a lot of yoga. And in the moment, they, they were very challenging. But I felt like afterwards, Instead of having things rushing through my mind, I was very at peace, at ease. I still feel that same way now. Um, and I think being able to have that calm sense of mind is very, very valuable. Back to just the breath for me, I think personally, like I never really thought that breathing was such a big part of training and recovery. And then actually accessing the mind, like it always starts with the breath because your mind needs oxygen to flow and understand, be able to, um, sort and process things so I think that as well as like the different types of just exercises and workouts that you can do and they might not be physically picking up and putting things down but they are even more challenging than some other physical exercises. Going through uh, these exercises I just understand it just allow me to understand my body a little bit more and it was hard to see that well as strong as I am and as much training I've done for the so long I wouldn't be able to lift my toe just off of the ground with certain exercises that we were doing. So it actually like teaches me how to connect my brain with different parts of my body. So it was actually like a quite of a, a challenge to actually do that and actually like knowing my body a little bit more. When you as a therapist are your best possible self, you can then now impart that on the people that you come in contact, whether you are dealing with high level athletes, whether you're dealing with amateur athletes. And I think at both the even varsity, professional and amateur level in terms of athletics, uh, this is an area that is so needed. Continual growth is innate to all of us. So learning from athletes through how they move, how they talk, what they take out of certain scenarios and situations um, really benefits us as practitioners. What we take away from the interactions is really ultimately what feeds and fuels the fire to help other people get better. I would only recommend training with James if you want to work on yourself, if you want to actually do the work. It's so easy to, to go work with somebody and just go attend the session, be present during the session, and then not think about it afterwards. But James is going to challenge you to do more. 
so if you if you want to actually work on yourself and have lasting lasting implications lasting benefits that you can continue progressing then i would recommend working with james he looks at the athlete as an individual rather than just what sport are you playing um, the biggest thing for this retreat for me was it has a meditation component yoga component and a lot of times as an athlete i feel like there's a lot of fluff in the yoga things i've done and it's not really much of a focus kind of fluffy words that they throw out with little meaning to help you focus on certain things but i knew james would explain the why behind it like why am i doing this why do you focus like that and the why for me is very important when i'm doing something i want to do it just because i want to understand why i'm doing it how it's going to improve what i'm doing and how i can use it moving forward you guys need to extend in your low backs you need to extend in your low back i need to extend you need everybody needs to extend in their low back this is not about taking extension away, it's about supporting extension of the hip through, not a neutral spine, but through engagement of the areas and control elsewhere. And it's that functional movement, it is the, the way of connecting the, the mind to the body with intent in everything that you do. Once you have that and are able to understand that, the sky's the limit. So integrating models of yoga or joint movement or therapeutic modalities or strength and conditioning and building a model that athletes can respond to and have dialogue with gives them the power to take that forward and apply the things that really resonate with them. And as a practitioner, we have to be adaptable enough to cater to those needs of the individual in front of us. So while we have a series of athletes at a retreat like this, there are individual needs based on sport, based on performance, based on mentality, based on environmental factors, as well as performance factors that have been uh, historically ingrained and what's required of them in the future with their team, their organization, or their sport as a whole.